And the reason why I said this might sound like gobbledygook is because we're saying, well, either people are selling or they're buying. <laughs> and I, I, it's not meant to sound like uh, I'm being wishy-washy. What, it's, what really is being said here is that you're likely to have a trend. Erase all of this. So the likely thing at this point is that the market will trend, not pop up and do this again, move into a, a sort of consolidation range. The reason being, let me zoom back out, when you look at the broader scope, uh, we'll go even up to a, a monthly chart. Look at this now. On the monthly, you have the market moving up uh, in a very powerful trend. White on white does not work. Moving up in a very powerful trend, retracement, secondary move, bigger retracement. Now the third move where we've got uh, a, a pretty big retracement in. So possibly what? A, another move to the upside. But in the overall scheme of things, what's going on? Uptrend. So the overall trend is up. We could have a continuation of this trend or, in the broader scope of things, we could have a downtrend working like this. Or even here, this was, a, it was two months worth. But look at the size of it. Okay, I, I tend to look more uh, in terms of price for a trend than I do time. You can see this one was very close to the same size. But because it happened so quickly, in two months over here, um, 15 months. So one move took 15 months, the other move took two. What does that mean? Go back to a daily chart. When you're deciding to take on a position, uh, and I was on the phone with uh, somebody who was at the, the Dallas event. Uh, they were trading the British pound, and they wound up getting so caught up in uh, the possibility of the upside that they wound up taking on too large of a position. And that's very, very common among traders when we start to look at an upside target. Say, for example, we were talking about the New Zealand dollar going up here to 84 cents. That's a pretty big move from current market price, and if we get so focused on the market moving up there, we may take an entry at uh, uh, an improper time. So the first thing that you've really got to remember about money management is when your risk is high, you take small positions. Small positions. Because the risk at this point is what? That the trend might go to the downside, right? That's why I said it's important for you to realize that what the analysis means. And if you have a distribution going on, that means the trend is going to go down. If you have a reaccumulation, that means the trend is likely to go up. So the risk at this point is high no matter which way you go. So we take initial small positions. And then as the move proves itself, <coughs> we add on. So this market could very easily move down. Here, trade down to the bottom of the range and then start moving up and break out. Once the move has broken out, and this is the, the point of waiting until the market is underway. It's underway once it has left the area of, uh, if it's moving up, accumulation. Then we look to trade as it breaks over prior hands. This is a very common entry tool. I mean, this, this, this entry dates back to, uh, you know, the 20s and 30s. It's very common. So you have the market. Uh, the best way to describe it would be in short-term equilibrium. 
Okay, when you when you look at this area of the chart, let's say you go down to a four-hour bar, 